So welcome to the incredible Moraki boulders on the east coast of the South Island, New Zealand. Spherical concretion, capital city. Absolutely incredible. I've been photographing them a while now, up at Port Erie Beach in Hawke's Bay, close to where I'm based. But this is the big field. This is, this is where they are. World famous spherical concretion site. Stunning. They form in that sedimentary rock at the back of the beach. And as the tides come in, they rolled away the soft sedimentary rock, exposing these huge boulders. Some of them are up to two, three meters in diameter, and they're just left on the beach. Countless, God knows how many have been buried over the years. But man, look at these, these are just, these are a photographer's dream. We tried to get down last night at sunset. Unfortunately, high tide totally prevented that because the, uh, the water was right up to the, uh, the edge there. We came back around about 9 p.m. last night. Look at these. these, these are the big ones that have just been buried over millennia. Some higher up than others, obviously. Some more buried than others. One here that's virtually just starting to emerge. And that's the sedimentary rock I'm talking about behind it, which breaks down, fades away, exposing these incredibly beautiful boulders. Unreal. So like I say, we came down last night at maybe 9 p.m. as the tide was receding, and uh, we spent quite a bit of time down here taking a few photographs, using a couple of headlamps to light up the boulders as we took some long exposure shots. I got my little Fujifilm X-Pro2 set up, which worked out okay. I thought I was getting some nice shots. And then my missus with her Samsung, whatever it is, S10 or something, I don't know what it is. She's, uh, she's put her bloody camera on night mode. And honestly, I'll put some of her photographs up. In my opinion, they knock the spots off of mine. Absolutely knock the spots off of mine. But uh, yeah, she's got a good compositional eye. And I think she deserves a decent bloody camera. Not that there's anything wrong with the camera she's got on the phone. But if ever she wants to blow anything up to a decent, decent size, then I think she needs a decent camera to do it. So now we're back. Couldn't get down at dawn again, obviously high tide. Couldn't get down at sunset, high tide. It's around about 9 a.m. now, and the tide's far enough out for us to, to have a look at some of these boulders. So I'm gonna stop waffling, dig out the camera, make some photographs. Now, initial thoughts are black and white today. I've loaded a roll of FOMO Pan 100 rated at ISO 400 into my Zeiss Iconta M. So we're gonna get a few photographs on film and then a few photographs taken again with the, uh, with the Fujifilm X-Pro 2. Are you happy now? Right, get off then. What amazes me down here, and indeed up at Pereira Beach in Hawke's Bay, is that it's only a small section. A 
a small section of beach. This is probably, I don't know, maybe two, three hundred meters in length, this section of beach, and then they stop. So this is the last one here that I can see, and then there's no more visible to me anyway, up along the beach. Possibly they've been buried over the years. Who knows? But it's just so weird. It all looks to me like the same sedimentary rock the whole length of the beach, which goes on for a long way. But that section there, amazing, absolutely incredible. Are you having a good time? And because obviously the uh, current global situation and New Zealand's still, uh, still playing the game, not many tourists in town, not many tourists in the country at the moment. We've got the boulders to ourselves. I've been down here previously when you literally couldn't move for tourists, clambering all over the rocks, scrolling the names in them, you know, gouging the names in the rocks and things like that. But today, we've got it to ourselves, which is pretty cool actually. Pretty freaky, but pretty cool. Ah! Woo! Loving it. 12. Again, you've always got to remember to set your distance on this particular camera. Cock the shutter. Then the most important thing you need to do is wind on. So easy to see the numbers coming through the little window. Uh, this, this film as well in particular, it's got really big, bold, black numbers, so you can see them coming through, travelling through quite easily, which is, uh, which is great. Not missed a shot yet. So around about nine feet, give or take. Just shy of. Another shot in the bag. This is going well. Good frame of shot up round there, I think. Well, I have to say, I'm loving this. I've not even got the digital out today. Just sticking with the film shots. The Zeiss Icon to M is doing a stellar job. All black and white, so the greenery, the moss you see on the rocks, that ain't gonna show. What you'll see is just texture and shape. Just look at these things. I mean, seriously, look at these things. Absolutely out of this world. Let's see if we can use some of this contoured sand as a lead-in to the rocks just up there. And uh, in comes a little bit of surf. Let's try and make a shot there. Three boulders leading up to the headland. I've got two frames left on this roll of film. 12 beautiful, hopefully 12 beautiful square black and white images. Never used this FOMO film before. So I'm quite interested to see what it uh, looks like.